Well, what do you know, guys? Everybody, everybody out there. Hey, this is Benj Meeks, Garden Guy. Today, we are working on helping this tree not split. These things, I guess that's the new split term. Split. These things are notorious for splitting sometimes, especially Bradford pears. But this guy is a redbud tree. Now, you can see down here that as it grew, it grew a little bit on the precarious side. And that easily... With all that weight going that way and all that weight going that way, could psh, split and not be happy. So what we're going to do here, we're going to help it out by connecting this branch, or this trunk, to this guy. And this one to that one over there. And we're doing that using these items and tools. Folks, here we go. This is what you need. Here is an old hose that I got. Uh, just a normal old garden hose. Cut down pieces down to about... You want them at least, you know, a good a good two feet uh, long. If and you can do shorter for smaller trees, heavy duty wire cutter. I got a vice grip here. This is going to be helpful for the crimps the, the, that are going to pinch down the wire. I've already opened this, but I've got a this is Blue Hawk uh, one eighth inch by thirty foot length. Um, it's got the wire in it. Right over there, see this the wire, it's 30 feet. And got these one, two, three, four, five, six of these little guys. That's going to be helpful to, whenever we tie it back, it'll cinch it down. And then two of these, which I may or may not use those actually. I got two turnbuckles. These ones are, let's see, these ones are 215 pound. That should be good enough for the tension we're working with. You may want to adjust based off the size of the trees you're working for or, or helping out, but these guys are going to work for us. These clamps, I got two more so that I have a total of eight. You'll need, you know, more or less based off of how many limbs you're tying together and how big the tree is. I found it helpful to kind of go ahead and bend them. They're kind of stiff, you know, the old, older hoses like this that are all rotten and stuff. They're usually pretty stiff. So go ahead and bend it to where it's easy to bend around the tree. Then go ahead and run the cable right through the hose. Let's get it and we'll find a good spot up here. You wanna make sure when you run it around the tree that it goes in a spot to where it's not gonna rub the tree, but it's gonna provide a great support. And in this case, this tree and back up and i'll show you you know we have the split right there is a potential split spot so we want to make sure and pull these together so i went ahead and as you can see i already put one cable right here going across that way it's because it's kind of like a fair four and then i'm going to have another one around this way around that part of the trunk down to this guy right here so it provides that that multiple direction support normally all you have to do is like one of these but as you can see if i put this here got the hose around it one of these here i may come back in and put another one just for more support but these hold them pretty good and then come back in another loop put your turnbuckle here make sure it's it's extended all the way out before you put it on so you can turn it and it'll cinch up and then you've got you know I was going around here and I went ahead and did these close so that I can do the next one close and have you know, the turn locals in the same general spot. Got this cinch right here. Got the wire going around and I definitely want to make sure whenever I make this loop that it leaves room for the tree to continue to grow. I've got about an inch and a half to two inches all the way around so that whenever I pull this here, you know, it's still got some space to grow this hose down so it doesn't touch right here okay that is fixed now I'm gonna come over here and pull it to where I want my loop to be pull the loop back to where you want you know you have enough distance over there with the turnbuckle and then go ahead and cut where we need to cut leaving some excess just because you know you can come back and cut it later boom done all except for i'll trim that up so it's not just out here trim them up to where they're nice length gonna leave about an inch and a half to two inches 
and this is just looped in there I was just thinking another way you could do it is um, you make the loop like this but then you instead of running it through through that that um, support you have to it, you may be able to just run it back through into there and into there and then since there and there so it's just one big loop but I like this way because if you cinch here then this loop going around the tree is not just like a big loop it stops right there so I like it like that now what I'm doing here is I have loosened this last support there and you know it's all kind of loose I want to get it as close as I can to tight before I use the abilities of the, of the turnbuckle so tighten it on here I'm gonna pull this <clears throat> and it's pulling through making it more and more tight so I'll pull that all now it's just a matter of turning this guy cinching it down good that's all we need to do there you go just make sure it's I'm gonna get it to where it's you know hand tight don't need to get it crazy tight but you do want it to support the tree if it does experience some pressure from a storm or something like that. This is going to help to keep it strong. So that does not split. And there you go. That's the finished result. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks for watching this channel. Now, I'm not like a tree man. I don't do this all the time, but this is one way to support your tree if you think it may split, especially for brad repairs. And this is, in this case, we've got a red bud tree, but that's going to give a lot more support whenever a wind event happens or a lot of rain makes, makes the branches heavy. It's way more supported this way than it would have been before. We've got we used recycled hose cable turnbuckles and little braces and that's all that's all that's all she wrote that's all we need another way to do it would be to drill a hole straight through the tree and put a bolt on the other end and same thing on the other side and then have a turn turnbuckle there but or or to have a um, there's other types of tighteners but this is the this is the way we did today and thought i'd just share it with you guys hopefully it's a blessing to you and give you some good ideas for your tree. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. And uh, folks, thanks for watching. Good times, good times. See you next time on the Garden Guy channel. Laters. It's cold out here. I'm gonna go home, I think.